What's up guys, it's oil change time. We're gonna uh, change the oil on our two Merc Cruiser 6.2 motors here in our Meridian 341. We're gonna use the West Marine hand pump vacuum oil change system. What's different about this oil change is I'm going to try a few different methods of siphoning the oil out of the motors. So one method to suck the oil out of the drain plug is, I mean the dipstick tube, is to use these plastic tubes that connect to the pump housing for that hand pump. And you stick this skinny tube down into the oil dipstick tube. You get it all the way to the bottom and then you pump and the suction comes up through this skinny plastic hose. Um, that's the way I've done it uh, my entire life. Uh, however, there's a couple other different methods I'm going to give a shot this time around and see which is the best way to do it. If you notice on these Merc Cruiser motors, there's a threaded hose fitting that is on the dipstick tube. And uh, what I found is that a regular hose fitting will attach to that and then you could screw it tight. And then I could get this end of the hose to the vacuum container here and suck the oil that way. So I've never done it with this hose. It's a lot larger, so the oil may flow faster. Don't know. So we're gonna try that out. And then lastly, I'm going to try another method using a section of this rubber, I believe it's fuel line hose. It is 5 sixteenths inch. Now it says not for fuel injection system. So it's just a rubber, rubber hose. I'm not sucking out any fuel, it's just oil. But that's perfect size to just slip over the end here. You push it down and you pump it and you get suction that way. The only thing using the method with these hoses is that I don't know how much oil will be left in the oil pan because the dipstick tube may not go right down to the bottom of the pan. So I'm going to try this out and see uh, how it works out. And uh, after sucking oil out of the with the hoses, I'm going to try this skinny tube to see if there's any oil left at the bottom of the pan that still has to come out. So we'll try those three different methods. Stay tuned. Alrighty, before starting the oil change process, you want to make sure you have everything on hand because it could get messy quick. First, most importantly, is to have your assistant nearby, our assistant matey, first mate. Um, I have a container here that I could pour some of the waste oil in. Also, you'll want to put pour the oil from the oil filters in there because there'll be some oil in there. It gets quite messy. Have a lot of rags, shop rags on hand. The oil absorbent type of mats are good also because oil is going to get everywhere once you pull the oil filters off, which are over here. So that's going to make a mess. So I have a bunch of rags available for that. You know, your basic hand tools. Of course, we got our filters, flashlight, just in case, our tool bag, just in case, and a case of oil. And for those that are wondering, yep, I'm using Napa 15W40. All right, so we're going to be filming with my new video glasses that uh, will give me my hands free, and I can still look around. So. Hopefully it worked out. I'm going to do a little review on those glasses too. So far they seem pretty good. The video is a little bit dark. I might have to fix it up with some uh, video editing, but um, at least my hands are free and uh, you get a better idea what I'm looking at here. So I think we're going to start. We've already warmed up the engines. You want to make sure you warm the engine up to operating temperature so the oil is nice and warm. It sucks out a lot easier when it's warm oil. So, let's see, first thing, we're going to try this first, this hose, because I've never done this before, so here we have the hose fitting. I'm going to screw this on here, and it's just like a regular hose faucet fitting, so it's got a rubber washer there, it seals it up nice. I cut these, this length of hose flush, pretty flush, flush enough. And what we're going to do is attach it to this. Yep, 
squeezes right in there almost perfectly. So hopefully there's a good seal. If not, you're going to hear air rushing out. So, all right, real tight. We have rags are handy in case there's any mishaps. And here we go. The only thing I don't like about this is it can't see the oil flowing through the hose. But you'll see it pouring in here and it fills up. This thing is empty right now. So let's start pumping and see what it does. After pumping it a few times, it gets a little tougher to pump. So right now, this is filling up really quick. Because the oil is warm, it's deforming the hose a little bit, so you got to watch that. I mean, it might work better with a higher quality rubber hose, but I could feel the suction pulling this cheap hose. Let it do its thing. Maybe once in a while, maybe give it another few pumps. And this is almost filled. So once it gets close to the top, you don't want to overfill it. There's a pressure release valve right here. That gets rid of the suction. Now, so that worked really quick. And we'll empty this container into our spare. All right, so that worked out really good. I want to try the other hose. I'll try the rubber hose and see how that sucks up the oil. I'm going to switch back over to this hose, which is clear, partially clear. And we'll get this other end. See how much more oil we get out of here. I got about three quarts. All right, see, this is what I was afraid of. This doesn't have a good seal. You hear the air escaping. There does seem to be oil going through the hose. Let's switch to the old hose here and see how much oil is left at the bottom of the oil pan. All right. We're all set up now with the tube. This is a tube that actually comes with the kit. This hard plastic see-through hose. And there's different sizes. So use the smaller end to go into the dipstick. It should go right there at the bottom of the oil pan. I can feel it bottom out. So I'm going to leave it just a hair above the bottom. And let's try pumping and see what happens. Right, we'll give it a shot. Oh, there we go. Yes, so we're definitely getting more oil. But you can hear the air again, so we are pretty much down to the bottom. Let's see how much oil. So we got what looks like another quart. Alright, so all the suction is gone. It should be all the oil. Alright, so I'm going to check, make sure we got all the oil out. So we clean the dipstick. I'm just going to double check. You should see nothing on the dipstick. And we have no oil on the dipstick. So we got all the oil out. I'm using a combination of the hose. So I like the, uh, just the regular water hose seemed to work really quick. I want to see how much on the other engine I'm going to use that and try to get all the oil out with that and see how much is left if uh, the dipstick alone gets enough of the oil out. But now it's up to changing the oil filter. This is where it gets really messy. This setup, the filter is actually upside down, so the oil will be pouring out of this when I unscrew it. So you want to have lots of rags around to catch all that oil. Try not to get 
getting any debris down there where the oil goes through. Here. All right, before putting it on, you just want to put a little bit of oil. I just use some of the old oil. Now. Put it on a gasket here. Just on. All right. Snug it up, hand tight. Okay. All right, when we start the motor later, we'll just check the leaks. Okay, we're all set with this starboard motor. We put it about, we put five quarts of oil in it. Check the oil in the dipstick. It's just a little bit above the, uh, the high level, but we have an empty filter. So uh, we'll check it again after we run the motor, but five quarts should be good. I think the engine calls for four and a half. These are uh, 6.2 Merc cruisers. So now we're going to pull the oil out of this other motor. I'm going to go back to this hose method. And uh, that seemed to work the quickest. As you can tell, there's no leaking air noises. Seals up nice with this hose fitting. Oh, you can see it slowed down. It's collapsed the hose here. So you want to have a good hose. You just got to watch it if it kinks up. So I'll get myself a little better quality hose for this. As you can see it all the way up here, so really quick, this works. Okay, so we emptied out our vessel here, and we should have about another quart left. Okay. Pretty good. I'm just going to double check it with that other hose. Okay, we're all set with our dipstick hose that came with this pump kit. This container is now empty. And we're going to see if there's anything left in the bottom of this oil pan. There we are, right at the bottom of the pan. And it's sucking nothing but air. So that rubber hose, water hose method, seems to be the way to go. It's the quickest and easiest just using that hose fitting right here. So guys, thanks for watching our oil change video. If you have any comments or suggestions or any questions, please leave them in the comment section. And don't forget to like and subscribe as it really helps out in bringing you more videos. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.